Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm gonna to be trying the Flawless by Gabrielle Union hair products. After my last Sally Beauty video, I asked you what you wanted me to review next and this got a very large response. So let's do it. Today's video is sponsored by Sally Beauty and part of the Sally Beauty crew. But no matter what, they always let me choose whatever products I want to try and this is what you guys wanted this time. Now before we get started, let me tell you my little backstory with Gabrielle Union and Flawless. This is one of the first celebrity brands to ever reach out to me way back when. This was a totally different product collection. The bottles used to be like this color and this was the first big test in my like morals and integrity with my channel because at this point in time I decided that I wasn't going to use any more sulfate or silicone and I can't remember exactly but I want to say that her products had silicone in them and maybe sulfate and silicone so at the time I was like dang it this is my moment like a brand is noticing me this could be sponsored I might get paid for this like this was very early and I was so excited yet so bummed about the ingredients and I decided to say no and I turned them down. <sighs> I was so disappointed. But I did the right thing. That's why my channel is what it is today. I reject brands a lot. Um, you guys think I just try everything? No, the ingredients have to check out and I have to like it or I have to be able to say my honest opinion if I am gonna talk about it. So I had to say no at the time, but since then she has totally like hit the reset button and started over rebranded, reformulated everything. So this is the new products and I'm happy to see that right here on the back in bold, it says no sulfates, parabens, and silicones. I love when a brand listens to us and they change things. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying the Flawless by Gabrielle Union Hydrating Detangling Shampoo and the three minute restoring conditioner, as well as the repairing deep conditioning mask. She also has a curl cream, but unfortunately it was sold out. Maybe it's so good, that's why it was sold out. But out of curiosity, I did end up going to the Flawless website and I saw that like, it's not even on her website, like it's just sold out. So if Gabrielle Union herself doesn't have it, I don't know how I'm gonna find it. But then again, I did just go to the Sally Beauty website and you can still order from Sally Beauty. I just I don't have the time today. <laughs> so instead, I did go to Sally Beauty and I end up looking for something else to try today. And I grabbed the Mayel Avocado and Tamanu Blend Anti-Frizz Curl Perfector. I put a poll up on Instagram and you guys wanted me to try this one and you guys chose a good one because it smells so good. But without further ado, Let's go through the entire wash day, starting off in the shower. Let's try the Flawless by Gabrielle Union Hydrating Detangling Shampoo. It's infused with Brazilian Bakuri butter, rice oil complex, and shea butter. It's supposed to cleanse our hair and restore elasticity. It does lather, which is what I like. I feel like it's not like extremely moisturizing, but even once I rinsed it out, it also didn't feel like too squeaky clean to where it like stripped out all my moisture. So I think it's like a nice happy medium between cleaning my hair, but also not stripping out all the moisture. Once I rinsed it out, I grabbed the three minute restoring conditioner. This is also infused with Brazilian Bakuri butter, olive oil, and castor seed oil. Great for types two, three, four, and detangles and restores moisture. Now this conditioner is supposed to work in just three minutes to restore essential hydration and natural vibrancy to dry, brittle, and over-processed hair. This is supposed to instantly hydrate, repair damage, and protect against future damage. That's important. So I decided to let this sit for the three minutes and then go back to detangling. And I think letting it sit really made a difference and made it even easier to detangle my hair. It did feel nice and moisturized, but also not too heavy for my fine hair. It's actually really different, but a more floral scent. I like it. It's a light scent, but it's a good scent. But now let's take the conditioning to the next level and grab the Repairing Deep Conditioning Mask. This mask is infused with biotin, creatine, and rice oil complex. Good for types two, three, four, hydrates and helps reduce breakage. The mask also smells different from the shampoo and conditioner. I think I smell like the normal kind of like sweet coconut smell, but it's also very light. This is extremely thick as you can see. Once you rub it together, it doesn't really stay thick, but I feel like this is going to give my hair some great moisture and it's probably gonna be good 
for both my hair types and thicker textures. I'm gonna lather this all over my hair, but really focus on my ends because they've been looking a little dry lately. Now I'm gonna get out the shower, put this up and put a shower cap on and let it sit for about 10 minutes and then rinse it out. And I'm back fresh out the shower and I really like how my hair is looking. I already did my makeup, so for it to still be looking this moisturized after I do my makeup is a good sign for that deep conditioner. I mean, I did re-wet it, but the curls are still like doing what they're supposed to do. Good sign. So let's go on to the styler. I don't have the flawless styling cream. They are sold out. So I'll be using the Mayel Avocado and Tamanu blend. Anti-frizz curl perfector. <laughs> That's a very strong claim to be claiming for perfect curls. It says it's supposed to help reduce frizz add shine for textured hair, prone to frizz, silicone free. Around the front, I like that. Oh man, it says refrigerate to activate cold application technology. I don't have time for that. Refrigeration recommended but not required. So this is supposed to stay in the fridge. I guess I could put it in the freezer for a little bit. Okay, I'm curious. Let me wait. I'm gonna throw it in the freezer and then come back. Okay, I'm back. Tried to throw it in the freezer to cheat the system. The outside feels cold. It's cold. Yeah, that should do it. Ooh, what is this supposed to be? What is Tamanu? It smells really good. Oh, I love a great smelling product. It smells like a vacation. I love the packaging. Yeah, it's nice and cold. So let's apply this. It says in sections. And let's use that cold technology, shall we? So if I read the bottle, it says frizz happens, damage, dryness, or humidity causes cuticles on the surface of the hair to open, creating frizz. This is true. The Myel Solution are exclusive cold application technology. I feel like in general, it'd be smart to keep our products in a cooler or a cool place because just like how you should be rinsing your hair with cold water to kind of close the hair shaft, it's just kind of a good idea. It'll keep your products fresher longer. I already lost my section, I gave up. <laughs> so the fact that this is claiming to have some type of technology in it really benefiting from the coldness is very interesting. Very smooth and creamy, really gliding through my hair. Smells amazing. Our exclusive cold application technology uses a cold on contact approach to help close the hair cuticles in place and help reduce frizz during styling. Refrigerate our smoothing, sealing avocado and tamanu anti-frizz stylers before use to amplify the anti-frizz protection. All right, so I like that it says like you don't have to do it, but it would just take things to the next level. My hair feels really, really soft. And I really like in this cold application. Smoothing it in. Oh, it smells so good. Mile Avocado and Tamanu Anti-Frizz Collection is a silicone-free formulated to help reduce frizz, triggered by damage, dryness, and humidity while also adding shine to textured hair. It says do not freeze or expose in temperatures below 34 <laughs> degrees. But I mean, I just did it just for a quick thing. I wasn't gonna leave it in there and make like a cream popsicle or anything. Okay, so I definitely get some frizz in the back and on the front of my head normally. So let me just flip this over. It smells so good. Do I dare only style my hair with a cream styler? It's become very rare for me to use just a cream styler. I mean, if I do, I'll usually put a gel on top for some hold. But the fact that this is saying frizz fighting and talking about humidity, let's give it a go. It says to use this after applying their leave-in, but it's so moisturizing. I don't think you really need a leave-in. I know my fine hair wouldn't. If your hair is extra dry, maybe you could, but it, I don't think you need it. Okay, uh, do I even diffuse without a gel? I'm so nervous. My hair feels amazing though. So soft and I smell so good. Mm. Definitely best smelling product I've tried today. Okay, so let me let this air dry for a little bit before I go full on diffuser on it. I'm just so scared to diffuse without a gel, but we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna give it a chance and try just the cream on its own. So I'll be back.
Okay, let's diffuse. I gotta be honest, I'm very nervous. I mean, my curls look great. I just haven't only used a cream styler in a long time. I always put a gel on top. I also grabbed the Myel Pomegranate and Honey Coil Sculpting Custard. It says deep definition enhances curls with deep definition for thick, curly, type four hair actually. But I just want a little protection <laughs> before I diffuse. I just put a poll on Instagram asking you guys if I could cheat and add a little bit of custard on top. I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna try to diffuse on its own. I usually do not recommend diffusing your hair without a cast forming product like a gel, a mousse, something but I'm gonna give it a try. So let me grab the Ion Luxe Supercharge Blow Dryer and Diffuser and see what happens. This Ion technology will help reduce the frizz and I'm also gonna be blow drying in a downward angle as you can see so I don't create flyaways but smooth them down. Checking in, I will say I'm very surprised on how well this is diffusing without getting any frizz, which is the cream. Let's keep going. All right, stand corrected. It was able to withstand the diffuser. Wow, my hair still smells so good. But this is probably the most moisturized my curls have felt in a very long time. So I feel like that speaks to the deep conditioner and using just a cream styler. I'm so used to crunch, I don't even know what to do with such soft moisturized curls, but I do think that that anti-frizz did what it was supposed to do, like very, very minimal frizz. Show you guys the back. Diffusing with no gel, that's just wild. I always think that my worst hair day is day one and post deep conditioning. Just because my definition of a bad hair day is no volume and since my hair is fine, anytime I'm using a lot of like creams or moisturizers, my hair is like, so moisturized that it doesn't get as big and fluffy as I usually like. So now that you see it in its like beautiful defined form, I'm gonna try to fluff it out as much as I can for the best day one volume, which may require a little bit of frizz. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it. Wow, my hair looks different than it normally does, wouldn't you think? I did it, I only used a cream styler. I was itching for this. I just don't wanna try this. If you have type four hair, let me know how this works on your hair if you tried it before, because this, this deep definition on here was very enticing, but I didn't need it. Curls are popping with just one cream styler. You know I love a one and done situation. So let me get my overall thoughts. All of these flawless products are only $9.99, so I love the affordability of them. I'm a fan of Gabrielle Union. I like that they were not afraid to just start over, reformulate everything to appease to their audience. Um, so I'm happy about the ingredients. And I think they all worked well. The shampoo made my scalp very clean. The conditioner had decent slip. It did do better after waiting three minutes, so I'd say to be patient. And the deep conditioner, my hair feels really, really moisturized. And I like that the mask also has biotin and rice oil in here. Those are two ingredients that are always like mentioned when it comes to even hair growth. So I do believe that this can help hydrate and reduce breakage like it says. So for the price, I do think these are worth a try. If I had to choose one favorite out of the three, I probably would see myself grabbing for the deep conditioner again. Now for the styler, this is probably my favorite thing I've used today. The scent, oh, I could just smell this all day. I need this like as a candle, but I like the cooling technology. The frizz thing, I think it worked. <laughs> my hair is very, very, very minimal frizz if any, and I like that you keep this in the fridge. I'm gonna throw this back in there. I'll see how it does if it like actually gets to sit in the fridge for longer than my little freezing situation. Now this is a new product. It is 12 fluid ounces and it is 14.29 at Sally. So not super 
pricey, but also not super cheap. But I did really like it. And the packaging, I mean, look at it. It's so pretty. Looking at my hair, it didn't clump my curls, which I actually prefer. That's why I finger detangled to even get more volume. So my curls feel like individually defined right now without having like big chunks of curls. It's very shiny, zero crunch because I didn't use any type of gel. Giving me some pretty good volume on day one. Also after deep conditioning, I'm very pleased with my results and I think all these products are worth a try. And I also have to give a shout out to the blow dryer because this ion technology also probably played a role in reducing the frizz because I think diffusing without a gel is crazy. We were able to get it done today. I'm very, very proud of myself for trying. And you guys vote on Instagram that I wasn't allowed to, so there's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me mixing and matching two different brands. I did get some positive feedback from you in my last video saying that you like when I try a bunch of different brands together because realistically, that's what you guys do. You don't always just use one whole brand at the same time. I do think that since one brand is making multiple products that they make those products to work seamlessly together. So you might get the best results when you do use an entire line together, but we also know what works best for our hair. So if you know one shampoo works better than another and you want to mix it with a different type of styler, I say go for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed me trying two different brands today. Let me know your thoughts below. Which ones do you want to try? Are you guys happy with the price of the Flawless? Are you happy that they reformulated? What do you think of my hair? Do you style with just a cream? Let me know. If you want to try any of these products, please shop my link. I will link them in the description box below. And give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. And you also can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.